Hi folks, my name's Javier, but you can call me JD, and I'm really excited to bring you a brand new episode of Go RV's Camping Cuisine, thanks to our mates at Thetford. Come with me. When I first came to Australia at the age of eight, I lived in a caravan for three months. And since then I've had the fascination for caravans and I love caravanning and camping with the family. And I love cooking, it's my passion. So it's really great to be able to do both. Caravans have come a long way since then. Check out this luxurious Paramount Signature Limited Edition. I picked up this little beauty from Ian, from my great mates at Canterbury Caravans out of Bayswater. Today I'm going to be cooking a Nisi Star Bayer. Now my ancestors will probably roll over in their graves because I've change the recipe a little bit to make it simpler but I want to show you that you can make great tasty recipes using basic ingredients that you can find in your pantry and in your fridge. Let me run you through a list of ingredients. In the fridge I've got prawns and I've got chorizo sausage and here on the bench we've got our chicken stock, short grain rice, minced garlic, tomato paste, paprika and turmeric, one small red onion, small capsicum, half a cup of peas and some parsley for garnish. This is a really lovely Australian chorizo made from free-range pork now you can get a spicy one if you like a bit of chili or you can just get a plain one but i'll tell you what look you can already smell the aroma coming from the chorizo check out this k1500 from thedford you can get the full oven but today i'm going to use the cooktop and grill version i'm going to put my pan on the stove top and turn her on i've got all my ingredients ready i'm going to splash a bit of olive oil Nice generous splash. This is not an authentic paella as I mentioned before because we're just using basic ingredients. So we're going to fry off our onion. A nice big teaspoon of garlic. We've got our paprika in there. Now we put in a teaspoon of turmeric. Normally you use saffron, because we're doing a basic version, we're using turmeric, which will give that rich golden color. But we are using basic ingredients here. Now we're going to add the capsicum and the chorizo. I tell you what, the smells just keep getting better and better as you add all the ingredients. All right, so we've coated our chorizo with all the spices and the oil. And here's the trick to a good paella. We're going to add our rice in first and let that cook and soak the oil before we add the liquid. So next I'm going to add a couple of heaped teaspoons of tomato paste. We're going to stir that for a little while until everything's coated and the rice starts taking on a bit of a translucent color. Look at that, look at those rich colors. Now we're going to add our peas and that's gonna add not just flavor, but a little, a bit of green color. Now everything's almost ready and it's time to add our liquid. So you wanna be stirring everything as you add the liquid, you'll hear it sizzle. I could have used the Teflon pan so it doesn't stick, but the thing with the paella is that you wanna get a thin crusty layer at the bottom so this will be perfect. Now we're going to turn it up a little bit now and bring it to the boil. That's the secret. Now some people say that you add the salt at the beginning, some people say at the end. My theory is you add the minimum at the beginning and then you have a taste at the end and of course a little bit of pepper. As you can see, it's come to the boil. We're going to give it a little stir. The last thing you add, because you don't want to overcook them, is your prawns. I'm going to get them from our Thetford fridge. It's time to throw in our prawns. But before we do that, I'm going to bring it right down to the low setting. Stir in our prawns so they're coated in the mix. Okay, folks, we have everything mixed in. And all we've got to do now, put our lid on and just leave it for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Let's have a look. If the rice is a bit crunchy and not quite cooked, then we can leave it for a little bit longer, but I think it should be perfect. I'm gonna give it a taste test, make sure that it's ready, especially the rice. Ah, oh, bellissimo, that's ready. I'm going to turn it off, give it one last stir. A bit of parsley for garnish. I love garnishing my food because I love colors and you can see that vibrant green. Bring it over to my serving table. I'll tell you what, not only does that look fantastic, but it smells fantastic. Now let's see if it tastes fantastic. Got the whole pan to myself. Now for the taste test. Mmm, bellissimo. That goes to show that you can do simple, tasty caravan cooking when you're out on the road. Before I go, I'd like to thank our mates at Thetford, and I will see you next time for my next episode of Go RV's Camping Cuisine. Bon appetit.